Start off with the green light indicator and then it's on. Okay. And then from there you can watch the little guy or you can watch the light by change here. Every time you bend forward a little bit, it changes the light and it starts to vibrate both sides. Okay. And if you bend over too far, it stays vibrating. Okay. And a third light Pulses shines. Pulses it and then it solidly vibrates. So I'm back to square one. I bend a little bit forward. Uh, so if you're in physical therapy for a back injury, right. your whole goal is to avoid re-injuring yourself and to strengthen your back right. and also get better posture. Right. And so there's some accommodations for the, the ability to record things with an accelerometer, okay. but we've tried our best to record the best we can to make sure that you're not bending too far forward or to the side, so that's buzzing my left side, okay. or to the right side, the whole goal is to bend with your legs right. and lift up. Or if you have to bend forward, do you have to bend forward like this? Uh, so as I, if I was yeah. to bend forward like this, yeah. it gives me the feedback saying I'm in the wrong position. Yep. You want to make tea, and then you pour water in the cup, and then you have to go walk away to answer the phone, or maybe they just want to read something somewhere. So you put the cozy around your wrist. <laughs> I think eventually, you know, like like the Starbucks yeah, cozy, yeah, you would something yeah. that's elastic, so that you don't have to do that yeah. unbutton. Right. Yeah, it also depends on the cup too. Right, and but then, it could be elastic like a belt. Right? And then it glows to reflect the temperature of the tea. And this is going in real time. It communicates wirelessly with your cup to tell you how hot it is. And so this is a reminder. It's like, oh, I have tea waiting for me downstairs. And so you can go get it before it gets really cold and then you have to like microwave it or something. This is a game to uh, help kids learn to collaborate and also to learn self-regulation techniques with their, with their heart rate. So it's been shown with kids with ADD and ADHD that if they learn to uh, focus on their heart rhythms, that it'll help them with learning, attention, and even test scores in the classroom. So this is a collaborative game where kids um, work to move the bucket around, but each space, the color is based on what their heart rate is at the time. So right now it's red, and um, if someone has the sensor on, we can hopefully, through some breathing techniques, focusing on just being calm. So now we can move to the green space. Um, and this operates as kind of a stress release. You can, um, by squeezing this, determine kind of the tension of, of the rope. The idea is that each player is getting their heart rate monitor, and so and some kind of algorithm of all their heart rates determines how heavy this bucket is, which determines where it is on the z-axis, and then control the X and Y axis, like how it goes around this way. Does this actually work? Like if I get my heart rate going faster, will that turn red? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's actually not how fast it is, it's the uh, oh, right blood the pressure. Oh. So you can, so it, it's a better indication of how calm you are. So oh, there it's red. So, so people have to have totally to calm themselves. Right. That's interesting. Yeah. But like the game is inherently stressful because it's, it's like a hard game. So, so the idea is that the more you practice, the better you get at monitoring your heart rate during stressful situations.